18 year olds on 18 wheels. It could happen across the nation if a new federal bill approves lowering the driving age from 21 to 18 crossing state borders. If they're safe, yeah, it's great. Give these kids a chance. Mike Card says his trucking company, Combined Transport, could benefit from thousands of new possible employees if the age lowers. I've got equipment sitting that's very expensive, so we are really working hard to give our drivers a good home give them good pay, good equipment. We're doing a lot of things to incentivize people to come to work for us to try to fill those trucks. Combined Transport in Central Point has a permanent now hiring site. Card says it is a difficult job, especially the long haul, which makes it hard to fill openings. Most drivers want to drive locally so they can come home to family every night. I read also that there's like a, a need for over 100,000 new drivers a year in the industry. So if you're not getting 100,000 new people coming into the industry as truck drivers every year, that gap between how many drivers you need gets bigger and bigger. We asked our News 10 Facebook friends if they would feel safe with 18-year-old commercial truck drivers on the road. Art McKinney says, I don't feel safe with some of the truck drivers that are on the road now. And that comes from someone who has had a Class A CDL for 50 years. Orlando Carute says she would feel safe. 18-year-olds serve our country and we trust them. So why wouldn't you trust one that drives a big rig? Her husband was 18 when he started driving tractor trailers, and it's all about safety and training. Card says youth can be good for the industry. We got kids coming out of the military at 19 and 20 that still can't drive long haul for us. So that seems a little odd, too. These are great kids, great young men. They should be able to drive and take these jobs. Card says insurance companies would embrace the law change as long as they prove the drivers are safe. Covering your news, Aaron Nilsson, News 10.